these two poems are titled Red Puncta, and they're provoked by the tremendous photographic archive of Li Zhenshen. Red Puncta. By negative space, by forgettings lining, by background, fabric where things seethe, where fugitive looks and tongue trees scrape open loose seams, and the far off shame plants in earlobes and draws color. See how the background leaks out watery faces that haven't been rifled through such as the man in the crowd of thousands running his tongue over the film scarring his teeth, such as the woman, her fatty lids betraying her drowsing, the ones farther off, their heads angled away, mouthing the unrecoverable. The background is milky fog, the solitary is sight that is untold, edge closer, friction from the future lies in the folds. Red puncta, of the foreground we will not speak. Look past the blotted figures, stiff line that parts glaucous air from ground's teeth, forfeit faces, a light instead on the thin twine that screws hands together gelid landscape, chromatics at life's edge, those pant bottoms burnished to a peasant gray. Harbin in the deepest of winter, eight stripped trees matching eight individuals on their knees. Close the book, they disappear. Open it, and they're upright again. A stone turned over, red. Beneath it, what we must speak for, growing lather sloughed off the dead. Thank you. <laughs>